Caution, watch your step. Okay, good thing they warned me. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. And today we're taking a look at a new pair of wheels that I feel like are a huge competitor to Windspace wheels. As you guys know, I have a pair of Windspace wheels on my bike right now, a pair of 65 millimeter uh, black edition hypers. Um, but this company right here, Drive or Elite Wheels, these are the Drive wheels. Uh, they put out a wheel set around the same price point, even cheaper, with very, very nice specs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this, unbox them, take a look at them. I'm going to show you the specs on them, and then I'm going to go over price point and also how you can get your guys' hands on them as well. Quick disclosure, they did send them out to free for me, but as you guys know, hopefully you guys will uh, trust my opinion on these wheels, and we'll go from there. So give me one second, let me get the tripod, and we'll get to it. All right, you guys know I would not do that unless I knew for sure that these things are packaged really nice. Because they are a direct consumer wheel set, uh, they're going to be in a nice packaging box like this. They're going to have nice packaging as well on the inside. So let's go ahead and unveil. They're individually wrapped. It's a nice kind of packaging foam. All right, damn. All right, this is the these look really aesthetically pleasing this is the rear wheel right here okay and it's in a gloss carbon and they call this their marble texture pattern um it only comes in one finish on this wheel set uh but it is a beautiful looking wheel i mean the carbon layup on here looks amazing so the company that is the, the company that makes these wheels is called elite wheels and these wheel set right here are called the drive 50d D standing for disc brake, 50 being the depth of the wheel. They also make this wheel set in a 40 as well, and they make it in a rim brake as well. Um, retail on these things is uh, 1,190 US dollars. They are based in China and they do ship internationally. They ship for free, they ship globally, uh, and they're giving me a discount code, which will be GC15, which you guys can find down below in the description if you guys are looking to get that. So that puts these wheels right at pretty much $1,000 to get your hands on them. So you have it in like this like kind of gray color, carbon fiber spokes, and then the hubs are beautiful. I love, I love, as you guys always know, I'm a sucker for brush silver or brush aluminum, but this is like a, like a kind of like a gunmetal gray, which we'll get deeper into when I, when I take off the, the tripod. And then no lie, I know you guys are probably just like, Probably like, oh, he's just like BSing some of that. These bearings, these are ceramic bearings inside here. These feel like buttery smooth. I'm saying like no notches at all. I absolutely love them. They feel really, really good. But, um, and then the, the free body on here is a Ceram XDR because I'm going to be putting them on my bike later on on the road to try them out. But this is more of just like an unboxing. But look at the machine work on the hub as well. Very cool. Um, I will be putting these on my bike. And then they have a four paw system for the free body on here, which. They have like a really nice sound to them. Let me give you a full view of this. Oh. Very loud, good engagement, but the wheels look sharp, man. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and take this off tripod. Let's look at them. All right, so here we have the front one as well. Very similar to what you're seeing now with the carbon fiber spokes with the alloy nipples put together. They are a tubeless ready wheel setup that they are gonna include tape with here. So they do have the exposed spoke holes on here. Um, couple things though. So once they send these wheels out to me, uh, I think they're sending them out to a lot of YouTubers as well. Um, but they told me from the get go, inside the box right now was just a wheel set. There's nothing left inside of here. They said in the future, they will uh, put inside the box a pair of extra spokes. Um, rim tapes will be on the wheels already set up because right now they did not send it with any kind of rim tape at all. So that would have to be on the consumer side of it. And also, I believe that's it for right now. Um, but yeah, so, so in the future, if you guys do buy these wheel sets, they will have a pair of extra spokes for you guys in case it breaks some. And also rim tape will already be installed with tubeless valves. But the look on them look great. This is again a 50 millimeter depth and a 50 millimeter depth and making a 40 millimeter depth and also rim brake. Um, so with these wheels, they retail for 1190 USD. Uh, they do have a four paw system in here with ceramic bearings. The wheel set together, they say weighs right at 1300 grams, which I'm gonna weigh. But 1300 grams for a 50 millimeter depth wheel is very, very lightweight. The front wheel is 21 spokes in the front. The rear wheel is 24 spokes in the rear. So with that kind of spokage as well, 
They say that you can get up to about 275 pounds of weight on here as a rider, or uh, for all you guys across the pond, 125 kilos for you guys. But this is, this is my, my take on the whole situation. I think that in today's day and age, if you're looking at a pair of carbon fiber wheel sets out there, and let, just, just exclude the fact that you're like really, really tall and you need a heavy wheel set, I think anything under anything over two thousand dollars is is like just like overkill. You can find really really crazy good wheel sets now for under two thousand um, dollars. Even this being right around a thousand dollars. This is for a pair of wheels, a full carbon fiber uh, setup with carbon spokes and ceramic bearings, and the hubs feel great. I don't know about longevity of these things yet because I haven't got a chance to ride them, but just the pure unboxing of them, they look absolutely amazing. They are following all the kind of fads of what the cycling is in right now. The internal width of this rim is 21 millimeters. The outer external width is 28 millimeters. They say this thing can take up to a 700 by 25 C starting and can go all the way up to a 700 by 38 C as well. So you can run these for your gravel setup if you wanted to. Um, but the wheels do look phenomenal. Again, I'm a sucker for aesthetics. And that's why I think people are starting to go to as well. You wonder why companies like Princeton Carbon Works are, are killing out there is because it's something different. It's not the norm that everyone's used to. They're giving you different rim profiles, different uh, colors, different choices you can do. You can you can make it whatever you want. People have money nowadays in the sport, um, so sometimes people just want to stand out and look a little bit different. So when you see a beautiful kind of gloss carbon fiber rim like this with this marble texture pattern inside here, it looks really cool. It's something different and gives the, uh, the rider a cool look to it. I'm a big fan, but again, these bearings, no lie, it's like butter. I, I don't even feel anything on here. I don't think they pop off. I see these little notches right here, which I'm insinuating will be like for a cone wrench to take off. So let me see. Okay, yeah, so this is the rear wheel right here. It's not like your normal kind of like a similar DT Swiss style hub where you pop on and off the end cap. On the front and the rear hub, especially on the driver body side, they see they have these kind of notches right there where it's flat on the Freo body, uh, that is going to be like a, a pressure-based bearing system. So you, the, the the hubs like that, as long as they're adjusted right, they're gonna feel nice. But from factory right out of the gate, these things have no notch, no notches in there. They feel really, really nice. Um, I'm pop the back on there. And these are a, let's see if it says on here. I think it said 6803. Oh, let's see if we can get that. <clears throat> 6003. 6003 bearing. I'm sure it's just like a no name brand on there. I don't know what they're they're calling it, but just a this their own ceramic version of it. But look at the lacing of these spokes too here. They call it a two to one radial pattern, which is very common nowadays. There are more side, there are more spokes on the drive side and on the uh, non-drive side, there's less. Look at you only got two, four, six, eight on this side. And that's gonna mean that there's gonna be 20 on this side. Holy cow. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get these scales out to see if their proclaimed weight for them is actually true because they're saying that the front wheel weighs 580 grams and that the rear wheel weighs 720 grams. But we're gonna go ahead and put that on the scale to go ahead and see. Let's get my scale. How you guys doing, it good? That's moving like clothing. Yeah, you know, I'm just remodeling my house right now, so I got a couple things going on right now. Let's see if I can find my scale. I'm gonna take my rifle around here. Found it. Special revenge. All right, so now we're going to weigh these wheels to see what the combined weight is. They're advertising as 1,300 grams for the set. Think about that for a second. I just said $1,000 retail wheels with ceramic bearings and everything like that for under almost 1,300 grams. That is insanely light for a 50 millimeter depth wheel set. It's crazy. Your crest, 719 grams. I think they're dead on with that. That's the rear. That is okay. That is without rim tape or tubeless valves. So keep that in mind. But the look, the, I'm just astounded by the look. They feel rock solid. Again, this is just my first initial unboxing of them, but uh, I will get some rides in on them. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. And then we'll go to the front. We're at 580 grams, 719, 580. I'm gonna do quick math. 1299 for the for the wheel set. That's crazy stupid light for what these things are. 
Um, yeah, that's, that's just my first initial impression of the wheels. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are interested in buying these things, like I said, I will have a discount code GC, GC15 uh, down in the description. It will give you guys a 15% discount. It also help my channel as well. I do get a kickback from that uh, just for full transparency on the wheel set. But no lie, if you're looking for a, a thousand dollar wheel set for everything that you get from here, I don't see how you can go wrong. They do also offer a 1,000 day warranty uh, for any kind of manufacturer issues on there. Anything that happens in that, in that time period, that's fine. You have a 60 day trial period as well. So if you don't like them, uh, I believe it's within the 30 days, they'll take it back on shipping. If it's after 30 days, they make you pay the shipping for it. Um, but everything will be listed down below. But I mean, you get a pair of beautiful wheel set for $1,000 with a thousand day wa uh, warranty on there as well. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's nice. It's, it's very, very nice. I can't say it. Aesthetically pleasing. Bearings feel great. Hub sounds great. Hubs look good. Tubeless ready. Big tire size in terms of compatibility. And super lightweight. You can't beat it. So these are, again, the Drive 50D. They make them in a rim brake. And then there's the Drive 40D. They make them in a rim brake as well. And that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of these things. I'm actually pretty excited to ride them. They look really, really cool. This reminds me of the first time that I was excited for the, the other pair of wheels I got, the one space. So, um, but they look really cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.